Today, the Rock Island Arsenal unveiling plans for a big addition to one of its factories that will make manufacturing U.S. Army equipment more efficient. News ace Charles Hart joins us in studio to talk about the Arsenal's big plans. Hey, Charles. Thanks, John. The Rock Island Arsenal Joint Manufacturing and Technology Center will soon include a 3D metal printer that will manufacture parts for military vehicles to better protect soldiers while making production more convenient. Taking manufacturing to the next level. It's creating an opportunity for us to build things that we've never been able to build before. It's called the Jointless Hole Large Format Tool, a 3D metal printer that will print parts for military vehicles. As we build up this machine and we start to build capability, we'll be able to better recognize how, many, how much production we can get from it. The tool will produce metal parts up to 30 feet wide and 12 feet high, making it the largest 3D metal printer in the world. And not only does that increase uh, the number of parts that we can produce per, per day, but it also increases the quality, or the quality of our products coming out of the modern uh, production machines is far superior than what we ever produced with uh, our single axis uh, ways. Senator Dick Durbin says the project will help with the future of our military. We are riding the wave of the future. It's no longer uh, the past which we're focused on. And I believe uh, that this is just the beginning, uh, that we're going to see more and more commitments here. Representative Sherry Busto says the arsenal has a history of contributions to the nation's military. The arsenal is all about the future. It's all about the 21st century. We've been around here since the Civil War era. We have gone through from the factory floor to the foxhole in every single war and conflict that we have been involved with going back to the Civil War. Workers at the arsenal are preparing for the machine's arrival. We're already in, uh, we already have engineers that are using uh, prototyping to determine what type of parts can be built. Over the last two years, $44 million have been put into this project, and it is in partnership with Astro America, an applied science and technology research organization, and is being built in Rockford, Illinois. John? All right, thanks, Charles. The machine is expected to be up and running by spring of 2023.